With the end of the Magnificent Century series, many viewers became seriously interested in Ottoman history. Most of us were worried about the question, what happened next, after the death of Suleiman the Magnificent? On the web, you can watch the continuation of the story called, The Empire of Kesem, but the truth is that this artistic story shows us the empire after almost four decades. 37 years have passed between the events of Suleiman and Kesem, and we are all curious to know the fate of the heroes of history. Let me tell you today about the 11th Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. The son of Suleiman and Harem, who took the Ottoman throne. It was believed that Selim was not the best contender for the throne. In light of the tragic events surrounding the executions of other sons of Suleiman, it is often said that the ideal candidate for the throne was Shazad Mehemdi, but he died early due to illness. The second position in the ranking of the race for the throne, the people and the Janissaries gave Mustaf, the beloved and revered son of Suleiman and Mahidevern. Well, after his execution, they wanted to see Bayezd on the throne. However, Suleiman chose Selim from the two survivors of Shazad, and executed Bayezd and his sons who rebelled. I suggest trying to answer a very difficult question, at first glance, why did Suleiman choose Selim as his successor? But, before answering it, you need to remember two things, the first is that no one can be sure that he will take the throne, and the second is that any potential candidate for sultan should not create any prerequisites for attempting to take the throne until the moment when the incumbent is sitting on its sultan. Knowing these two important conditions for a candidate, you can easily answer a seemingly difficult question from the beginning. Selim has never given Suleiman a reason to doubt that he feels any self-interest in relation to the existing government. He was not interested in the throne or the affairs of the state at all. Mustaf and Bayezd, for example, on the contrary, the Sultan constantly caught on any actions that made him doubt their loyalty. And Selim led a detached lifestyle, had fun in the harem, arranged his personal life with Nurbin, having given birth to a bunch of children while still being a Shazad. In the end, the road to the Sultan's throne for Selim was cleared by circumstances in the formation of which he did not even take part. With a few exceptions, he entered the war for the right to be Sultan at the end of Suleiman's path. But even here he behaved much smarter than Bayezd did. If Bayezd hid with the enemies of the Ottoman Empire, then Selim prudently hid behind his father's back. Thus, after the execution of Mustaf, Bayezd, all their sons and the death of Jihangir, Selim became the sole heir of the Ottoman dynasty. Contemporaries of the Ottoman Empire described Selim in their reports as follows, he is fat, with plump cheeks, red face, does not like to work, but loves pleasure and Nurban, lazily leads his life. Nobody likes Selim, and he never laughs. In 1553, Navairo also calls him stingy, dissolute, hypocritical. Another modern source reports that Selim constantly borrowed money from one of the merchants, handed over jewelry to him. Being a Shazad, he promised to repay these debts to him as soon as he became Sultan. But he didn't. Shazad Selim, who received the news of Sultan Suleiman's death on the battlefield in front of the Ziggurat VR castle, arrived in Istanbul from his Sanjak. There he was met by his sister Mira Sultan. Sitting on the throne, Selim swore an oath to the state elders and the Ulma as the new Sultan. Next, he borrowed 50,000 gold from Mira and headed for the army. It should be noted here that when Suleiman died, his death was hidden for a long time so that the army would not revolt. For the safety of the Sultan's body, all his internal organs were removed and buried there. Only very recently, archaeologists and historians, as they believe, have found a burial of Suleiman's internal organs on the territory of Hungary. On October 21, the army moved from Zigetviar to Belgrade, and on October 25, the death of Sultan Suleiman was officially announced. In order for the military not to rebel, they were promised a large reward. Arriving in Belgrade, the new Sultan Selim held the funeral of his father, and on the instructions of Sokol was forced to distribute the reward to the soldiers. But the Janissaries, who wanted more gold, were unhappy with this, threatening that they would ask for it in Istanbul. Indeed, when Selim arrived in Istanbul, the Janissaries blocked the roads, demanding increased tips. After their demand was satisfied, Selim was able to enter the palace. Understanding the strength of the army, as always, being cowardly and soft-hearted, Selim decided to transfer the management of all affairs to Sokol Mehmed. 
Sultan Selim carried out several permutations in the divan, appointing trusted people as viziers, his sons-in-law. And here, attention, are some shocking facts about his political aspirations at the expense of the happiness of his daughters. Esmeyan's first husband was Vizier Sakal Mehmed, who was about 40 years older than her, Esmeyan herself was 18 years old. After the death of Sakal, the woman married for the second time. His other two daughters, Shah and Gevern, were also married at different times to different viziers at least twice. Selim was the first Ottoman ruler who did not go on military campaigns. Selim spent all eight years of his reign in the palace in Istanbul, and moved to Edirne for the winter. The new sultan preferred entertainment to military campaigns, he surrounded himself with poets and musicians. In the sources of that era it is written that Selim often consumed alcoholic beverages, there was a lot of fun around him, wrestlers, acrobats, women. A similar observation is made by another contemporary, the Venetian ambassador, he writes that he saw the sultan sitting in the garden and having fun with his acrobats, mute and gnomes around him. According to him, Selim's cheeks were swollen from drinking. He is of medium height, close to short, with a sparse beard and a long yellow mustache. It is noted that he, like his ancestors, was fond of hunting and liked to shoot arrows. But, not everything was so bad under Selim and he definitely made his considerable contribution to the development of the empire. Although he handed over the management of affairs to Sokul Mehmet, he played an important role in planning the military operations that would be carried out from time to time during his reign. Thus, the crisis related to the uprising in Yemen was suppressed. An agreement was signed with the Safavids on the continuation of peace. A treaty was signed that put an end to the situation of war between the Habsburgs. In all these matters, Sokul influence was great. The Cyprus expedition, the most important operation that took place in the era of Selim. He supported this expedition from the very beginning, saying that he cares about the case of taking Cyprus from the time when he was still Shazad. He welcomed with joy the completion of the conquest of this island. During the reign of Selim, the largest defeat of the Ottoman fleet occurred. So he immediately ordered its restoration and in a short time a new navy was built. Then peace was made with the Venetians. During his time, the kitchen in the Topkapi Palace was completely burned down by a sudden fire. By his order, it was then restored. According to many sources, while walking through the bathhouse, which he had just built in the palace, his foot slipped and he fell. Having received a head injury, he began to have a severe fever, the doctors could not stop the development of symptoms and Selim died. It should be noted that the Sultan died himself, in the palace, in a calm atmosphere, at a young age, after a short reign. The exact date of Selim's death is unknown. Contemporaries of the era call different days. However, there is reliable information that his death was kept secret for some time until Shazad Murad arrived in Istanbul to ascend the throne. Selim's body was awaiting burial for 12 days in a glacier in the palace before Murad arrived in Istanbul, was placed under a cypress tree in the courtyard, and after noon prayers, the new sultan was announced to the people. Then Selim was buried in the courtyard of the Hagia Sophia Mosque. And again another shocking information. Selim was buried together with his five sons, who were killed according to the law of Fath by Murad who ascended the throne. This is how we saw with you the story of the life and reign of Selim, the 11th Ottoman Sultan, the son of the famous couple Suleiman and Harem. And that's it for today. If you think the Ottoman history is interesting, subscribe to our channel. So as not to miss new stories. Kindness and mercy. Thanks for watching.